I have the EOS R5 and the Tilta cooling setup. So I'm gonna record 4K HQ and with the Tilta cooling system and we'll see how long with the Tilta will be recording 4K HQ before it turn itself off, before it overheat and it just shut down. All right, so the timer is there. So I'm gonna start recording and start. Right, so that's the lab five and now it's recording. So it's recording 4K HQ and the tilter is also running. All right, so we're just gonna allow it to record and we'll see how long it will record with the tilt tilter cooling so that we can compare it. So now I put a side-by-side -side comparison. On your right-hand side, we am recording with the EOS R5, 4K HQ without the cooling system attached to it. And in your left-hand side is the 4K HQ recording with EOS R5 with the cooling, with the tilter cooling system attached to the camera to cool it down. So we're gonna be comparing that recording side by side till when the EOS R5 without the tilter cooling system attached to it overheat and shut down. And then we're just gonna carry on recording with the EOS R5 with the cooling system attached to it. And then we see how long we are able to record with that EOS R5 and the cooling system combination 4K HQ. The EOS R5 would add the cooling system overheating sign started around the 20 minute of recording. So we're gonna be carrying the recording till we see when it will completely shut down. But usually around 24 minute mark that the, the EOS R5 shut down. Yes, you see, it has shut down around that time. So, so we're gonna carry on recording with cooling system attached to the EOS R5. So we hit the recording time limit of the 30 minutes. So now we press again recording and so far no sign of overheating at all with the tilter cooling system. So let's keep going and let's see how long we'll be recording. I have a little bit of issue how to power the tilter cooling system. And if you're interested to know that subscribe if you're not subscribed it's because i'm gonna do a video e exactly because there is some issue how to power to power it yeah we are about to hit the second recording time limit here yeah, of the 30 minute so now it's 29 16 and let's see so far no sign of overheating at all the cooling system is doing a job to cool the EOS R5, keep it cool and carry on recording 4K HQ. So far it's doing great. So six, five, four, three, two. We hit the second recording limit. All right, so we're gonna Press record again till you know the memory is full. And we see so far twice, no overheating. Yeah, so we hit the second recording, no, the third recording. So we hit the third recording, yeah? And let's see how far it's gonna be recording. <laughs> All right, guys, so the memory card is full, right? So then the recording has stopped, but no overheating sign, sign yet. So I have CF Express card in the 100, no, 256 in there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put another CF Express card, 128, 
and we see all right just bear with me for a second so now the overheating sign is 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 blinking so let press record it just said that we have two minutes of recording time and all right it's gone overheating sign is gone now just a few seconds i think the thing cooled down a little bit i'm gonna press now we said three minutes of recording time so i'm gonna press record and then we see so it's recording it said to us like uh, we have three minutes of recording time so we're gonna record and then we see so we, we are just about to reach the three minute recording time that you know the overheat overheating sign gave us and the US R5 gave us and in 10 seconds seven six five three two one zero All right now we already passed that three minute of recording time that the overheating gave us and it's still recording so basically um i think you know the the tilter cooling system is doing its job so let's see how far we're going to be recording again <laughs> So you, you saw it, yeah, the overheating sign flash again. Just flash for a few seconds and again disappeared. So we're just gonna carry on recording till either they cut full or we hit again the recording, 30 minute recording time. Yeah, yeah, you can see it now. Again, it's flashing, it's flashing. It flash and disappear, flash and disappear. So we're just gonna carry on the recording. Again, you can see it's flashing again. So every minute or something like that, it flash and it disappear. So I think, you know, so far we've been recording for an hour and thirty-seven minutes, and you know, no stop, four um, K HQ. If that's without. If that without it, without that tilter, so last time we recorded it's only 24 minutes and it shut down. So it's a really impressive, a really impressive. I think the thing that I start seeing now that the EOS R5 kind of overheat, right? It heat up and just a matter of few seconds, the tilter cooling system cooled the camera down quickly. And then you go again, recording for a few minutes or for a few seconds, and then overheat come and then cool it down again. And keep going. So we are just about to hit the third recording time limit since we started recording 4k hq right and the overheating sign is now showing a little bit more and it stayed a little bit longer and disappear and come up and, and so and so but to be honest yeah and we have recorded three times 30 minutes i'm really impressed um yeah we just read the recording limit right and i'm gonna let press again time so i press again and it's and it's recording again it carry on carry on recording although the recording now the overheating signs keep blinking but i think that with this cooling system the tilter cooling system you have a very very good combination um, using the eos r5 to its maximum what the, what I'm proposing to do, I'm going to use the EOS R5 with that tilt system and record a real life content. Go out, record, do vlogging, and I'm going to be mixing between recording 8K, 4K HQ, and also 4K 120 frames per second. And let's see if I will be able with that tilt system to record a full content the way that I wanna I wanna record without the overheating stopping me. Record just 
normally relax the way that let's say that if I'm using the EOS um, if I'm using the A7S3 or if I'm using the C70 the way that I recall no pressure at all nothing just go record and we see and if we manage to do that so that you got yourself something absolutely absolutely outstanding so if you want to find that please do subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet yeah and also like this video i hope you find this video very useful yeah i couldn't matter to my friend so here is the summary yeah started i recorded 8k without the tilter cooling system so it's recorded for 17 minutes before overheating after that, I let it cool down and then I record 4K HQ without the cooling system and it record for 24 minutes, 58 seconds and then I let it cool it down and then I use the tilted system with the Canon EOS R5 record 4K HQ and it record for 1 hour and 54 minutes without the camera shutting down because of overheating. So yes, that's what it is, my friend. That's the combination of EOS R5 and Tilta cooling system. And I think that is an outstanding combination. And it does, it does do the job. It does it. The cooling system does cool the EOS R5 for you to recover for longer. And I'm really, really pleased with that. So yes, you know, I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching and let me know in the comment box below any idea that you have. All right then, peace.